Hi, I thought today I'd show you how to do a pattern fill. Okay, so you can use it for text, you can use it for shapes. So I'm going to try and show you all three in five minutes. So this should be good. Firstly, I've opened the pattern I want to use. I want to fill my text with this pattern. Okay, so I go to window duplicate because we never work on the original and X that out. All right, now how to change everything. I'm going to open an image. Okay, I'm going to leave my pattern minimized down there. I'm going to have my background at black and I want to have my pattern for the flood fill. And how I do that is over on your materials palette, you'll see a little circle. It says color. If you click on that, you'll pass gradient and come down to pattern. Click in the middle of that pattern and another menu will open up. You'll see you have quite a big square here, this little arrow. Click on that and you'll have a few preset patterns in there already. Now I'm coming over to the B image and clicking on it. Right, I'm changing my angle because I want it at an angle. Or I'm not going to change my angle, sorry. And I'm going to keep it at 50%. And all I do is click my rectangle tool. Come up to draw square, leave everything else as it is and change your line width to five. It doesn't have to be five, it can be whatever you want. And just draw. And you'll see you now have your image filled with your pattern. Now if you right click that, convert to raster layer, you can work away, you can do whatever you want with that. Okay, so I'm going to delete that. Another way you can use it is your selection tool. Say if you wanted um, a circle, for example, or half a circle even. And click on your flood fill tool. Because you've it set over here already, it comes up really well. You don't get the border this way though. Okay, now your text. So if you click on your text tool, Pick a large font. I've clicked the Cherie one because I like it. I've set the size to 120 and I've set my stroke width to 5. I'm leaving everything over this side, side as is except I'm going to click in the middle again and I'm going to make it smaller. So I'm going to take it down to 20% and click OK. Click in the middle of your image and I'm saying hello. Isn't that pretty? Right click in your layer palette and convert to raster layer. It looks a bit flat. So if we go selection, select all, select float and selections defloat and then go to selections, modify, contract and take away the five pixels that we added on for the border. So we're going to contract five and click OK. You'll see now the merchant ants are inside the border. Go effects in a bevel and just leave everything as is and click OK. You can see now the text just took on a pillowy effect. Go to effects, 3D effects and drop shadow. And you have a lovely drop shadow on your image. You know, you can copy and paste that onto something else, onto another background. In fact, I'll just show you quickly how to do that. Uh, edit, paste as new layer. And your hello is in the middle of your pattern. You can't see it very well, but obviously you'd have it on a different pattern. But isn't that really good? I'm going to make that bigger so you can see it. You know, it's really, really effective. So have fun. Enjoy yourself. And I'll see you again soon for a short tutorial. Bye bye.